down here. Do you hear? There. I see what? it. What? Okay, so I am supposed to wait for, but not kill him. Okay, let's do this again. It went through that crack. Probably has a way of it there. Wonderful. So, Hugo, I'll keep checking over here. Get to it. You know, you're a pole bear, you can actually kill people, but whatever. Save it off of that. Hey, we saved the polar bear. That's the end of the chapter? Really? Some of these chapters are very long and some of them are very short. Yeah, see? That's the end of one chapter. I don't think we meant to get down there. Hello? It's like two forces of Cold is trying to kill me, but the heat's trying to help me. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to turn up a little bit. Just a little bit. That should be good. <laughs> Let's not go there. There you go. Pull the heel up. How do I go up here? I think that was a trap. Yep, that was a trap. Okay, up we go. 
Somebody shot this door open. What's going on? Are the repairs done? The captain might destroy the Do ship. Don't forget my cargo. Captain, open the door. Captain, sir, open the door. What's wrong with you? Where's the radio message? Did you give that message to him? I think that's why he's doing this, because he got the message. Captain, sir, open the door. What's wrong with you? I hit the flank. Well, the radio message. Did you give that message to him? What's the matter? Isn't this what you wanted? Grab the wheel! The ship is yours! It's not turning! The control lever is stuck! I can't move it! Help me! The telegraph is stuck! Engine room full astern! We do it 20 knots! It's not safe! Come on! Back! Emergency or I'll have you court-martialed! Full astern! We stop it. Do something. Calm down. There's no need to rush anymore. It'll start soon. How much longer? Don't know. This is an automated process. We need to get out of here. And go where? What about the crew? The crew will manage. Get the helicopter ready. Without the captain's permission, I can't do that, sir. I'll help you. We'll all do it together. I'll meet you on top in ten minutes. Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Wait, he's saying something. <clears throat> no, I can't hear anything. Uh, uh, uh. I know it, I'm playing as captain. Now give me a second. I'm gonna turn up a little bit more. There you go. And the flames of a great yearning to save them and lead them out onto an easy path leaped up in his heart. These mighty flames were reflected in his eyes. And seeing this, the people thought he was enraged. They thought that was why his eyes flashed so. And they instantly grew wary, like wolves, expecting him to throw himself against them. And they drew closer about him that they might seize him and kill him. He saw what they were thinking. The flames in his heart only flared up higher, for their thoughts added the sorrow to the flames of his yearning. Okay, that's the end of that chapter as well. God damn, we're just going through these chapters like nothing now. At least he didn't shoot any bullets or nothing. All I did it was just walk to one edge. Yeah, see? That's what I mean. Some chapters are very short, some very long. Remember also thy creator in the days of thy youth, before the evil days come and the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Two, before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are darkened and the clouds return, after the rain. Can I get some heat from this?
Okay. Is that on top of the reactor? Or did the reactor blow? In the blow? day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow down, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those who look out of the windows shall be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the street, when the sound of the grinding is low, and one shall rise to the song of a bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Okay, that doesn't explain all the creepy, mysterious uh, people trying to kill me. And why is this game low again? Ah, oh, there. Yea, they shall be afraid of that which is high, and terror shall be in the way. And the almond tree shall blossom, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail. Because man goeth to his everlasting home, and the mourners go about the streets. Okay. Why not freezing the deaf? The silver cord is loosed, or the golden bowl is broken. Or the pitcher is broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern, and the dust returneth to the earth as it was, and the spirit returneth unto God who gave it. Okay, I'd definitely go on YouTube and see what the story is all about. I don't understand any of this. singing its mournful song and the thunder crashed and the rain poured down what else can i do to save these people cried out Danko above the thunder and suddenly he ripped open his breast and tore out his heart and held it high above his head it shone like the sun even brighter than the sun and the raging forest was subdued and lighted up by this torch, the torch of a great love for the people. And the darkness retreated before it and plunged, quivering, into a yawning bog in the depths of the forest. And in their astonishment, the people were as if turned to stone. The brave Danko cast his eye over the endless steppe, cast a joyful eye over this land of freedom and gave a proud laugh and then he fell down and died and his followers were so full of joy and hope that they did not notice he had died and that his brave heart was still flaming beside his dead body but one timid creature noticed it and fearing he knew not what stamped on the flaming heart and it sent up a shower of sparks and went out. Okay. What the hell?
What the hell is going on? What? In what? Huh? Now we got a big titan guy. Oh, that's my soul. I have no idea what's going on. What is going on? I... what? What is going on? I have no idea how to defeat this guy. Okay. What? I don't get this one bit. I have no idea what's going on or how to defeat this guy. So this is going to be me trying to defeat the of course.
game now. There, guys. So I did talk. Yeah, I talked to your souls. What about it? What the hell is going on? Seriously. I was sure thought of playing a whole game, not this. Now we're in space. Sooner or later. Okay. Who are you? <laughs> Read this. You know, I'm very glad. No, really. What did you expect? You had a pain in the neck. Both of you, yes, you and your sorry excuse for a ship. I'm so tired. Look, you're a big boy now. You can't play around forever. And I can't help you this time. Now go, please, go. Quit trying. Everyone has had it with you. No one wants you here. So there. He's been asking for it anyway. God damn it, really? We're almost at the end. Just how hold on a bit longer game. I know it's, you're struggling. You're really struggling here, but just hold on for a bit longer. Just a little bit longer, that's all you have to do is just hold on for a little bit, game. Is that a Viking ship? You're tired, that's all. Calm down. They'll get you sooner or later. Ready to seen this? Save it. There you go. Yeah, we've seen this. That's it. Read this. You know, I'm very glad. No, really. What did you expect? You had a pain in the neck. Both of you, yes, you and your sorry excuse for a ship. I'm so tired. Look, you're a big boy now. You can't play around forever. And I can't help you this time. Now go, please. Go. Quit trying. Everyone has had it with you. No one wants you here. He's been asking for it anyway. 
What am I supposed to do? Read this. I'm all good. Uh, I'm all good, thanks. You good? Very glad. No, really. What did you expect? I was making it in my spare time, as if, if I felt something. Take it. We'll now send it to it HQ in hand. Let them disassemble it. There you go. Wait, we are the beginning of the game now? I'm the captain of the North Wind Nuclear Icebreaker. Welcome. You are lucky. The ice is rather thin here. You could have easily gone under. Well, now, no time to lose. Let's head for the ship. We have some rough times ahead. And let us send your wonderful dogs back. Unlike us, they always find their way home. He rushed forward, holding his flaming heart high above his head to light the way. And the people followed him, as if under a spell. And once more the forest began to murmur and wave its treetops in wonder. But its murmur was drowned out by the sound of running feet. The people were running ahead boldly and swiftly, lured on by the wonderful vision of the flaming heart and even now there were those who perished but they perished without tears and complaints and Danko went on ahead of them his heart flaming brighter and brighter what okay I need to watch the YouTube videos explain this story What the hell was that all about? Seriously, what? Huh? So what? The whole entire ship was fine because he gave him a boat? Sorry, I'm just gonna skip this. Am I? So, what I got out of it, P 
people went insane because they stayed in the boat and everything without any leadership because the leadership ran off. So they were human beings then. But what's up with the supernatural enemies and everything? Huh? That doesn't mean that doesn't explain anything. I am so I'm more confused than what I started the game. Maybe that would make sense if I knew what god that was, but I have no idea. The god of time, I guess, but still doesn't explain all the supernatural themes to the game. But they're still screwed then. Or they're getting out of the snow. What? I have no idea what's going on. Like, I am completely and utterly dumbfounded on the story. Yeah, I'm definitely need to look up a YouTube video or something to explain this goddamn story. Like, I know I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but... It doesn't explain the fine creatures, the spiders creatures, the weird warden creatures with, like, two guns and two magazines then you got the axe wielding guys and you got the rifle, uh, rifle guys like it doesn't explain any of these guys you got the guys with the weird keys on the hands like it does not explain any of the supernatural themes to this game And did the nuclear engine blow up or now it's fine? What? I... I'm puzzled. All I'm getting at is somehow the nuclear engine blow up. Okay, this is the story that I understand right now. And maybe it's wrong. But as I understand it, the captain got upset because the guy got up him so the captain raged and then tried to move the ship and then the guys took over the ship and put it a halt setting the engine on fire and that caused a chain reaction to make the nuclear engine go exploding yeah exploded the nuclear engine and the nuclear engine exploded and made some weird time loop monster thing that's what I'm getting at so the nuclear engine just warped reality I guess so to stop that you need to stop the captain going insane so you have to go back in time and not get up to the like upset the captain and that stops the whole chain of events making the captain happy that's what I'm getting out. That's the only thing I'm really getting at right now. That's the story I understand right now. So it's all happened because of the nuclear reactor blow up. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but that's the story that I'm going with until I watch a video about it. But hey, I finished the game. Yay! I finished the bloody game. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about the puzzle of this game. I actually really love the game. The sound was pretty good. The whole thing was pretty good. The guns are a bit wonky in my opinions. Like, the weapons were funny in the beginning with the chain and the uh, valve, and then you get the axe. 
And then you get the Mosin thing, the bold action rifle. Then you get the bold action rifle scope. Then you got the semi automatic uh, rifle. That was actually pretty good. Then you got the PVH. Now, the problem with the PVH, it was. Yeah, it was burst fire for some reason. You'd think it'd be automatic. But it was just burst fire. That's weird. And it didn't do that much damage. Felt like I was having a P. Uh, uh, what's that? What's that bullet called? Um. Uh, BBs. Yeah, it's like I'm chucking BBs at the enemies. It's a BB gun. The weapon system was weird, but it was okay. The combat was pretty good. I actually liked the combat. The music was good. The graphics is actually really nice. Overall, I really loved the story as well. Yeah, the... Yeah, so the story, I love it, but it's very confusing. Hey, did the... Hey, look, they're getting the anchor up. Are they moving? Hey, they're moving. Hey, they're getting out of there. Where's the guy? And what's up with the main character? Like, there's no background on the main character whatsoever. Like, the main character is just a native there. What about his village? Nothing about that. He's just going to go off in the ship. Okay. Well, at least we're going to play something more friendly. To next... Uh, yeah, next stream is going to be a lot more friendly, a lot more calm and everything. Probably make more sense, hopefully. Along the function of nature, grim and all, that's okay. A man is a drive to make the, get into reality, to drive everything into okay, everything by itself. As long as the function is okay, as long as there's a, a sin, is this okay, nobody's here. Logic okay, imagine a group of people who are all blind, deaf and so okay. Something in the crowd asks, what do you do? The only person in answer is looking for a cure until you curse. There's nothing you could do, and since you don't believe you're sick, there can be no cure. Okay, that's just a quote, I guess. Are we done here? This game is going to be uh, kind of like a Pokemon game. That's the best way I can save it. It's a Pokemon game. Is that it? There we go. So, uh, we'll see. Thanks guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.